All right, so today we're going to hack and butcher into my uh, 2017 Kubota tractor. I really like the tractor. Uh, however, one small complaint, for those that don't know, tractors aren't really like cars and that when you buy a new car, you just assume it's gonna have like a stock stereo and sound system. Tractors don't work like this. Officially, Kubota does not include a stereo with this tractor. At least they didn't when I bought it. I have no idea how it works now. And if you want one, it's a dealer installed option that costs like 50 bucks or whatever. And uh, so obviously I opted for that in mine. I think they even include the speakers from the factory. It's literally just the radio you don't get. I don't know, I might be wrong about this, but it's, it's kind of a weird system if you ask me. However, uh, it is not the world's greatest system. Oh, we gotta get some AC flowing in here. Yeah, it is not, it is not the world's greatest system. It is a cheap stereo. I don't blame them one bit. I kind of wish, I kind of wish in hindsight there was an option where it's like, I think, I think it was 50 bucks for this or I got them to include it. Like I suspect everyone who buys a tractor gets them to include it. I wish there was an option where you paid an extra 50 bucks and they put in a better stereo. Uh, but there wasn't. I don't think the machinery dealers have time to worry about such things or the interest to, and I don't blame them one bit. But the situation is that this thing, there's two things I don't like about it. It doesn't have Bluetooth. I know, first world probs, how dare they? So that means I gotta have this cord dangling around here. And as you can see, it goes right down into the controls and it's just kind of a pain. The other thing is, uh, anytime you feed uh, sound into this with the auxiliary port, which is pretty much all I do, uh, there's this electrical noise. I think the technical term is interference or something where, you know, anytime you accelerate the engine, you hear this buzzing in the background of whatever you're listening to. It's really obnoxious. It only, in the defense of however this is wired and Jensen Heavy Duty, whoever made this radio, it's only when you listen to stuff on the auxiliary. But so I got this thing. This is, uh, <laughs> man, I am amazed how cheap decent stereos have gotten in my lifetime. All right, we got some AC flow. Oh, I never turned it on. Fail. I'm amazed how cheap decent stereos have gotten in my lifetime. I vaguely remember around 2009, 2010, people would actually steal these and sell them. They were worth that much money. I don't remember exactly what I paid for it, but it was really cheap on the old Amazon. So I got that. And in order to hack and mutilate into my newish machine, as efficiently as possible, I got this. This is a stereo removal tool kit. Uh, I've never taken out an aftermarket radio of this profile and replaced it with another one. I've pulled out stock stereos from, uh, I drove a couple trucks in the, one truck from the 90s that I did that on. What else did I put a stereo in? Oh yeah, I put in a stereo in my 2004 Ford Super Duty, my old welding truck before I traded it. Uh, yeah, but, yeah. Oh, run plug and stuff, it's getting serious. Uh, if you have one of these, maybe this particular stereo will work. I don't know what we're getting into here. So we'll, uh... All right, so that's just like a little... Yeah. A little plastic clippy thing comes off. I gotta be sure I leave that in the tractor for like six months after I install this. All right. So uh, there's got to be, I think those are the little things we stab into, one there and one there. Ah, oh, that AC. Man, I don't know what any of this stuff is. I'm willing to risk being electrocuted in order to uh, do this with the tractor running so I can have AC. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's a ton of warnings all over everything I bought telling you not to do that. So don't try this at home. Try it in your driveway. Gotta stab these metal things back into where all the uh, wires are bound to be. Dang it, where's my pipe wrench? I recognize these bad boys, I've used these before. Ah, uh, no, that's not it. Man, this was a lot of tools for like six bucks. Haha, -ha, this might be what we need. I had the uh, thought to look ahead and check in the new box because when I looked up the diagram for what's needed to remove the old radio, it showed tools that are looking about like this. And I didn't have any in that kit that I bought, but it said for that radio, the tools are included with the kit thing. So I was like, shoot, maybe they're included in my kit thing. All right, I wonder if it goes like this or like that. 50-50 shot, so we're gonna get it wrong on the first try, and maybe we'll, uh, maybe it'll be okay on the second. Oh, we 
got to wiggle it around, then it goes in further. I don't want to critique anyone's radio installation, but it seems like there's an awful lot of just this moving everywhere. It's out on, it's out on this side. Oh, this is tedious. This is the kind of thing I really don't like doing. Not because it's not going well, which it isn't, just because it's a complete pain. Man, I'm getting ready to get violent with this thing. Nothing about this should be this difficult. Violence solves every problem. Oh, oh yeah. All right. Ah, I'll just kind of let that be the R. Where's my new one? Oh, well, you know, somebody told me one of the uh, more difficult things about learning how to work on stuff is you have to know when to use force and when not to. Now, to be fair, I, I did kind of get lucky on that one, but you can really mess that up. Please be the same. Please be the same. Ah, it's different. Oh, goodness, everything about this has to be complicated. Okay, so luckily this was very easy to do because there's only two speakers in this tractor, and uh, luckily it is new enough so all the wiring colors are exactly the same. Now, Jensen put an awesome sticker on the back of that radio and it said this color goes to this, and I found the same in the manual for the new Sony, and they were identical. So I just wired the, uh, the black wire to the black wire, the white wire to the white wire, uh, and uh, so on and so forth, and then I just taped off the wires that we aren't using. So, I'm gonna put this in here. Oh, I'm excited! All right, Let's see how does this go? All right, irreversible wiring harness damage in three, two. How do you turn it on? Uh, I want to make sure it works before we put it in there. Okay, so I rechecked the uh, schematic for the stereo, the new one, and I found out that these two wires, the red and the yellow, need to be wired into power. And the tractor only has one power, so I just combinified those. And, uh, whoops, now, hopefully, we'll be in business. Oh, yeah, look, we got lights. All right, we have sound. Uh... General. I don't want any of this stuff. How do you make it play music? Man, I've become my grandpa. Set demo on, off. Tuner. There we go. Let's find some normie music to listen to. 1965. I'll let you figure out why that was a great year for me uh, as I do this weather forecast. So All right. It was cold okay. All right. That's enough. Okay. It works. Not much good happened in 65 if you ask me. All right, oh shoot, how does this go in here now? Oh, oh no, okay, all right. It comes with its own sleeve and there's already a sleeve in here. All right, now we're only seconds away from finding out we actually have to use that stupid thing. Victory is mine. Oh, that looks so much better. That look, it even looks better. Now oh, you probably can't, there. Looks like a proper young man's uh, modified everything. All right, great. Now I gotta actually figure out how to set this thing up. All right, I'm very happy to announce it is working. I like this. Let's see if the uh, electrical interference is gone. We throttle this up. All gone. All of it. All right, that is one problem solved. That alone was worth the 60 bucks or whatever. Plus now I don't have to have the stupid cord dangling everywhere. Oh, I'm happy with that. That was a well spent 60 something bucks, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I don't know what else this thing can do. I can like call people and it'll play through the speakers or whatever. It's gonna be a one-sided conversation because I don't think there's a microphone in this. Oh yeah. Oh, I can even, look, it's even got a little USB thing that I'm never gonna use. All right, I like it. So this sounds a lot better than the old stereo. Um, I think in general, but I haven't really gotten to listen to it that much yet. It definitely sounds better because there's not all that dang electrical interference 
Um, you know, anytime I throttle up the tractor, so yeah. I'm very, very happy with this, ladies and gentlemen. This cost like, I don't know, 60 bucks or $65 or something. And it had literally everything that I needed. It had the tools to uninstall the old stereo, which I was not expecting. It had the wiring harness and the diagram for it. So, if you own one of these tractors or something similar, I guess anything with that style Jensen radio and that style wiring connection on the tractor side, uh, it's, it's pretty much just a super easy swap. And uh, I like it. I think that looks a lot better up there. It sounds so much better. And I'm really happy with this. I'm glad I did it. No regrets. Well spent 60 something dollar dues. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe for more random video, but a fun little project. And now I even have all these uh, stereo install and uninstall tools that I'll go out of my way to lose before the next time I need them. So thanks for watching. And uh, yeah, looking forward to this, enjoying this every day this year. Have a nice night.